Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Today we're going on a little adventure, a little photo video adventure. I had thought maybe I wanted to go to the botanical gardens, but it's only in the 30s. Granted it's sunny and I just wanted to take this out into nature, this being the A7 IV. But I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go to where my heart belongs and that's Pleasure House Point. And I'm going to walk around for a little bit just to, just to get some outdoor exposure, exercise, whatever, enjoy the sun while I can. We're supposed to take a turn for what I consider the worst, meaning it's going to turn to shit and it's supposed to snow by Saturday. Blah. So yeah, it's supposed to go down to the very low 20s and snow on Saturday. Not looking forward to that, but not a lot I can do about it. So whilst I'm waiting, I'm going to go out and, and enjoy today. Right now it's 38. So it's almost uh, 20 degrees warmer than is expected in a couple of days. So I, I figure I better get out there now. I put together a whole new uh, jacket system. So I've got tons of them that I have bought over the years. And this is actually what I used to wear when I was a porter at a Toyota dealership, freezing my ass off and cleaning snow off of 700 cars every couple of days. Let's just go shoot. By the way, this is the camera with the standard stabilization on. And now I'm gonna switch it to active. And now I'm in active. So I guess I'm still in frame. I mean, it's a, it's a little bit, close but not too bad i mean it still has you know both both seat you know i mean if somebody's sitting here their head's going to be like right here so it might not be the best but i can also turn it because right now i have it angled a little bit more towards me so that you know i'm the star of the show it's the devious monkey channel not the, the person sitting in the passenger seat channel so i mean this doesn't look too bad now the other thing is is that right now i have it kind of angled down just because it was uh, convenient to have it in that particular situation here let me just quit fucking blathering about it and change it yeah okay that's better until i get a passenger in here then i can angle it more in but i think now that i've moved it up i think i'm kind of good to go the problem is though is the the rear view mirror is that i keep hitting you know like right now i would hit the rear view mirror so let me see what it's like trying to take this thing off i might have to just come in from the back side and in which case this isn't an issue ha <laughs> It's not an issue. I can roll it out the back instead of trying to put it on from the front. Perfect. Okay, let me get my shit all set up and we'll go into Pleasure House Point because we're here. Oh, the thing I love about Virginia Beach, yes, it's 34 degrees, but look at all this green. It's green year round here. And still to this day on our eighth year of being here, it's still like kind of messes with us because when we see all this green, we're confused when we walk outside and it's cold or it snows. You know what I mean? But I mean, look at this. This is why I live here. I love this. Oh, this place definitely soothes my soul because it's just so beautiful and peaceful. Love it. Love this active stave too. Hey. <laughs> So naturally, because I don't have the A7R4 with the big lens, I look up and what do I see? Two great egrets gracefully flying in front of me. And then as I walk down towards the shore of that side, then another heron, I think it was a great blue heron, flies right in front of me too. I snapped a quick pick, but I mean, come on, 40 millimeter? I don't think that's gonna work. So I'm gonna come down here and see if they're hanging out. And I might have to whip the camera around really quick and stop talking. Okay, none of them came here because sometimes they fly right here, but a lot of times they go over there. But if you look down over there, you can see the two birds that I was talking about. Well, you can't see it because it's just too damn far away. And then we have another bird circling overhead. This always happens. Every time I don't have the A7R4 with the 200-600, I see all kinds of damn birds. Oh man, they're, all three of them are down there. 
All right, let's walk down there. Okay, so normally I don't come down this way. I go the other way, but it might be worth my while to come this way. Oh, because there's a ton of birds over here and somebody just got swooped because I could hear them all screeching. And there's the great blue heron screeching. I think I should just start bringing my big lens with me all the time. Oh my God, there's just a ton of birds over here. Holy shit. All right, let me shut up. Ducks, herons, egrets, swans. Oh my, there goes another one. So two swans. I'm, I'm gonna guess that there's, it's tough to see because I'm looking into the sun, but there's just so many over here. And then, ooh, it's squishy. Okay, hopefully this isn't quick sandy. Okay, so here we go. They're all scooting away from me. But there's a ton of them over there too. Note to self, if you're gonna come out here and be in the bright sunlight like this, is despite the fact that my ears are gonna be cold, I need to wear a baseball cap, something with a brim that comes down over because it's really hard to see when the sun is like coming right down into my face. Normally I keep a hat like this and a hat, like a baseball hat in my Forerunner. But because I had it all broken down to transfer all that garbage, I never put one back in. So I'm gonna have to remember to do that because it really, it would make it a lot easier to see where the hell I'm going and what I'm looking for if I had uh, a, a brim to shield my eyes because it's, you know, it's night and day. Oh, dude, this is killing me. And I hate to say that, but this is killing me. There are so many big birds here and, and little birds and just freaking birds. But see, if I would have brought it with me and I was lugging it around, there wouldn't be shit out here. That's the way it always works. All right, let's get up to familiar ground. Okay, this is figuratively killing me how many birds there are. I'm going home. I'm just leaving right now because this is, this is painful. I'm going home. I'm getting my freaking baseball hat put on and I'm getting my A7R4 with my 200 to 600 because this is just crazy how many freaking opportunities there are. God, I can even look down there and see more. Yep, going home. Let's go home and switch cameras. Okay, big kahuna and hat. So now we're ready to go. All right, that was awesome. There were a lot of birds in there. So it was worth my while to go back and get my A7R4 with the 200 to 600. That was just what I needed. And now I'm like dizzy hungry and it's one o'clock. So I'm gonna stop and have lunch. And then I have to go and get storm supplies because we're definitely gonna get shit on. Now we're gonna go eat and then we're gonna go grocery shopping. Back at home in the studio, obviously, this seems to be the way that I'm doing these videos these days where I take you all over Timbuktu in my chaotic life and then I bring it all home when I'm at home. It has been a crazy day. I have been all over the place. Obviously, I decided to go to Pleasure House Point, got there, was astounded at how many birds there were, decided to come home, change my gear, go back out, and then went around and shot all those birds. A lot of my pictures came out like shit, and that was because I was hand-holding plus holding this camera and trying to do it, and it was just too much. Also, this really hurts now from holding all that gear. <laughs> so it wasn't a complete success as far as getting bird pictures, although I did get some real bangers. But like I said before, that's not the point. The point is that I love doing that, and it was exciting to see all those birds and to go out there and just have a great time outside. So. That's what I did, mission accomplished. There's just nothing else for me to tell you about right today and I gotta get busy doing other shit, so I'm gonna stop this right now and not blather on. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and remember kids, forward and up.